had a lot of bloating and pressure in my abdomen. Uh, uneasy to breathe, you know, what maybe you get scared about. I was looking at heart attack symptoms and went to the emergency room basically thinking I'm having a heart attack. They even tested me for everything on the heart attack scale and then we went to further discussion with the doctor at the emergency room. Had a non-functioning gallbladder, was functioning very low. And then ran the test and saw the gall gallstones were very large and immediately called Dr. Roshek and um, scheduled the time to visit with him that same day. Basically a gallbladder is something that stores the bile that your liver makes. Um, the bile that your liver makes is what helps digest fat after you eat your hamburger or your fries, whatever it may be. When you eat something later down the road and you have some extra bile stored up from a previous meal or something like that, your brain says, oh look, here comes some more fat. Your gallbladder starts squeezing and then more bile comes out. First meeting with Dr. Roshek, I actually sat down with him. We discussed the history, any uh, previous illnesses. He was very informative and very, I mean, what I loved about him is he listened and he didn't mind questions. He reassured me that this, the gallbladder needed to come out. There are two main reasons why your gallbladder can go bad. One is that you develop what's called gallstones. Gallstones are little literally stones that form in your gallbladder and unfortunately these stones can end up traveling out of your gallbladder and going into the main duct. That's the classic thing that causes pain. The other thing that can cause pain is that your gallbladder just doesn't work anymore. It just burns out and it won't squeeze the bile that's stored in there and actually it hurts when that happens too. The actual surgery he said he told me that it would be laparoscopic. Recovery he just said that um, after the surgery I always constantly be walking help you know, the fear of blood clots, if you're just laying around, just get the exercise of soreness out, and that's exactly what I did. Once the gallbladder is gone, the main duct that carries the bile from the liver to the intestine will actually dilate slightly, and the duct will become the new gallbladder. When you have your gallbladder and it's not working, we tell patients not to eat foods with fat. We try to minimize your fat intake so that your gallbladder isn't squeezing so often, causing the pain. Once your gallbladder's out, I tell patients you can eat whatever you want. Dr. Roshek is top-notch. He's excited about learning and taking care of people.